These are the top five things you need to go dove hunting. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jebediah. Today, like I said, we're gonna talk about the top five things that you need to have with you when you go dove hunting. Now, stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna give you a bonus sneaky sixth that a lot of people don't use, don't have, but I find to be pretty effective and very helpful, if nothing more than just some fun. So make sure you stay at the end of the video to see what that sixth thing is, but let's get into the top five. Now, number one is kind of a grouping of things because it is what I refer to as the holy trinity of hunting. And those are your gun, your license, and your shells. So these three things I've grouped together because really they should never be separated. Whenever you're hunting, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, if you're gonna be taking animals, you need to make sure that you have a gun, that you have your license, and that you have the appropriate shell. Now what I use for dove hunting is simply steel sevens. Uh, sixes if they don't have them, but I go for sevens. If you're new to hunting, I would not recommend you trying to get into any kind of the alloys like tungsten and bismuth and all that kind of stuff just go with steel it works great especially because you're going to be taking closer in shots dove aren't as weary and if you're like i said new to hunting uh, i would encourage you to stay away from anything that's long range with that included in your shotgun this is a semi-automatic you don't need a semi-auto you can go with a pump when any, anything that's going to go bang will work uh, in 20 12 if you're a good shot 28 gauge and stuff like that i use a modified choke and i would recommend modified or improved cylinder in your gun and like i said make sure you have the appropriate licensing to be able to legally take game because nothing can ruin a day like a game warden showing up and you're in trouble. Now, on to number two. Number two is something <laughs> that's easy to forget, and that is water. This will end your day very quickly, because if you're dehydrated, it's going to stink. Now, a lot of times dove season is first week, first day of September, and it's still hot, it's still muggy. Make sure you bring plenty of water with you. That way you can stay hydrated and be able to stay out there as long as you want. Uh, number three. Number three is what you see in front of me and to the side of me, and that's decoys. Now, these are just full body clip-on decoys. You can put them on stakes, you can hang them on fence lines or in trees, just kind of give some confidence to those doves as they're flying around the field. This though is a spinning wing decoy. This thing is worth its weight in gold. If you have the money to buy one of these, this spinning wing decoy is worth 30 of these full bodies. So I would recommend you pick up a spinning wing decoy. Those can help doves really focus in on where you're going to be at as you kind of sit there. Now, speaking of sitting there, the fourth thing you need is a chair. Now, I just use this five gallon bucket. If you feel like you want to bring a lounge chair or some kind of camp chair, go for it. A lot of times, the nice thing with dove hunting is it's more relaxed. And so you can just sit there and hang out, talk with your buddies, have some good conversations. When birds fly, you shoot them and uh, a chair is very necessary. Now, the fifth thing, <laughs> is hearing protection. This is not to be overlooked. Hearing protection is very important. You don't want to have permanent damage, long-term trouble for one day out in the field having fun. So I recommend always to wear hearing protection when you're hunting. There's different styles. This is over the ear. Then you have stuff like this. This is just a regular plug. There's even stuff like this that goes around your neck that you can stick into your ear. I recommend the simplest one, which is just the plug. The plug fits right into your ear canal. As long as you have a good seal, it's going to do its job. And also too, these over the ear muffs and things like this, uh, when you mount your shotgun or when you mount your gun to your shoulder and you put your head down, a lot of times these will bump your shotgun uh, stock and it can cause that ear muff to lose seal on your ear which can sound can get in and therefore ring your ears. So the simplest and easiest and cheapest way is just a plug. I recommend using these. They even make plugs in children's sizes as well as for women who have smaller ear canals. So if you're hunting with kids or your wife or friend or girlfriend or whatever, they even make some that'll fit just for her. Now, the last and final, the sixth thing that is that little sneaky secret. Hey, what are you doing? Come here. He's like, I'm bored. I don't wanna be here anymore. Okay, you can go. The last thing is this guy right here. This is just a dove call. Now, a lot of guys don't use these because, you know, are they that effective? A little bit, but the reason I bring this into the field is simply because it's fun. 
Uh, I enjoy duck hunting. You'll see that on my channel and I love calling in ducks, but doves are just as fun too. So if you have the money, I think these are like 15 bucks, go on Amazon, pick up one of these. It's a good way to pass the time in between conversation and just see if you can get a duck to, or a dove rather to turn and kind of give him a little bit more confidence to show up where you want him to be. So those are the top five things that you need to have with you when you go dove hunting. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.